Hey everyone, welcome back to Star Lewis and to my first Christmas video for 2014. Now, I realise it was a little bit early to be doing Christmas videos in the middle of November, but today I'm bringing you a really special sewing tutorial that I thought you may need a good couple of weeks to gather your materials together and get it made in time to use for the month of December. I'm going to be showing you how to make a DIY fabric advent calendar and the idea behind it for me personally was that I really wanted something handmade that would last the test of time that the kids could look forward to getting out each and every year. And compared to the chocolate, the cardboard ones you buy at the supermarket each year, the little chocolates inside, this one can be really personalised for your kids each and every year and they can look so forward to you guys bringing it out at the beginning of December. So enough talking, let's jump into the tutorial I hope you guys enjoy it. To make your fabric advent calendar you will need two pieces of red cotton 41 inches by 22 inches, one piece white cotton at 31.5 inches by 19 inches, a second piece of white cotton at 19 inches by 6 inches, one piece of Dacron padding at 41 inches by 22 inches, 24 smaller pieces of Dacron padding at 3 inches by 2.5 inches. You're going to need 4 Christmas patterned cottons. You're going to want 6 of each fabric in the size of 7 inches by 3.5 inches. You're going to need 24 numbers. Numbers 1 to 24 for each of your pockets. These can be iron on, they can be patches, they can be fabric, handmade, whatever you like. This part's up to you. And you'll also want some ribbon. For materials, you'll want some fabric scissors, pinking shears, some cottons in reds, greens, whites, or cottons that match the colours of your Christmas fabrics, sewing pins, a sewing machine, and an iron and ironing surface. To start with each of the Christmas fabric shapes you have, first iron these in half and then cut around the outside edge with your pinking shears. Creating six rows of four pockets, so arrange them on a flat surface in the order you want the fabrics to appear. There's enough for one of each colour on every row. Next thing to do is gently unfold them and apply your numbers to each piece. The folded edge of the fabric is the top, the pocket edge, and the shared edge the bottom. Creating my numbers, I simply cut 24 felt circles, pinky shared the edges of these, and hand stitched the numbers on using embroidery thread. I apply these to the pockets using iron-on adhesive fabric which melts on both sides to create a strong bond. As each number is applied, lay these out evenly on your largest white piece of fabric. Next, take your pieces of Dacron and fill each pocket with the padding. The padding should sit up against the fold in the fabric, leaving enough room around all three edges to sew. Pin your pockets onto the white fabric starting with the top and left side rows. This will set the measurements for your other pockets so they're all evenly spaced. Take your time to sew these first 9 pockets on straight and from there work your way through the other numbers in between and then place this piece to one side. Then it's on to our other white piece and this is where your imagination comes into play. It's the title piece of your advent calendar and you can decorate this however you wish. I've created a quilted background using leftover Christmas fabrics from the pockets and then applied hand cut lettering to spell out Xmas and stitched with decorative stitching. I also applied another piece of Dacron padding to pad out the quilted area when I diagonally stitched across it. Again, I've pinky shared around all the edges to cut down on seams and sewing. With all the pieces now decorated, it's time to arrange them on one half of your red fabric. Don't forget to iron your pieces throughout this whole process too. With the pieces pinned down in place, sew your white pieces onto the red. Now is the time to place down your ribbon if you want to be able to hang it in this way. Next place your second red piece on top of your front decorative piece. On top of this place your large Dacron padding and pin. Sew around the three edges leaving the bottom undone. 
Also, don't forget to cut the corners off so it folds the right way out more easily. Fold it the right way out, iron if needed, and fold and pin the bottom seam in place before sewing to complete your advent calendar. So that is it for today's sewing tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed making your fabric advent calendar with me. As always, a step-by-step -step and written instructions can be found on my blog by following the attached link. There are more Christmas videos to come in the month of December, so stay tuned, hit that red subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Bye.